Well, friends, it's Mr. F, and the school year has come to an end. It's been a long school year, just like my hair is long. It's so long that I'm gonna need a haircut. But you know who else needs a haircut? Monsters. Yes, even monsters need haircuts. By Matthew McElligot. My dad is a barber. I like to watch him work. I'm a barber too. Tonight will be a full moon. I'll need to get to bed early. Just before midnight, I hear a soft tapping sound. Vlad is waiting for me at the window. I grab my pack and climb down the tree. Together, we cross the fields into town. I'm not allowed out of the house alone, but I'm not alone. Vlad is with me. Soon, we arrive at the alley behind the shop. I have a skeleton key. I unpack my supplies. The rotting tonic, horn polish, and stink wax go on the counter. The shampoo goes next to the sink. I tuck the moon powder into my pocket, right next to my tangling brush. I'm ready to begin. Around 12.30, Igor wanders in. By one o'clock, the shop is full. It's going to be a busy night. Some customers are easy and some are more difficult. Some always get the same thing. Some always want to try something new. And with some customers, it's tough to know exactly what they want. Things are going well. Everyone is getting along and then it happens. There is a knock at the front door. No one ever knocks on the front door. They all know to come in the back. Who could it be? It is a customer, a human customer. We have never had a human customer before. What are we going to do? Nobody moves as the man walks to the barber chair. I'm nervous, more nervous than I've ever been before. Then he asks me, can you take a little off the top? We all have a good laugh over that one. The sun will be up soon and the monsters have to go. We sweep up the shop, we flip back the pictures and turn out the lights. It's important that we don't leave anything behind. Some of the guys give me a ride home. See you next month, I shout. Soon, my dad will be waking up to go to work. He has his own customers to take care of. After all, even humans need haircuts. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. And if so, there'll be a lot more stories where that came from. Have a great summer. Bye-bye.